All right. Which one of these do we stare at? All of them. All of them? <laughs> that, that one's going, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, right. We're, we're, okay. We're all recording, man. I have to make it. I'm stupid. The camera's on. No, it's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got all nervous there. I'm going to see all the cameras at me. It's like a movie star. <coughs> it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Welcome What's up, to the guys? FPV Underground. I'm your host, Linda Richmond. Got me building a kinetic aerial, uh, what the hell is this thing called? A vector. vector. Vector, yeah. Vector. From, uh, kinetic aerial systems out of Wichita, Kansas. What's this guy's name, Chris, uh... Chris Nosler. Nosler, that's he's, right. He's called the Nos. I'm for, I'm for Clipped. You're the what? I'm for Clipped. Yeah, that, 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 that. All right. Too much coffee, that's for damn sure. I ain't got the jitters yet. We're going all Peter McKinnon in here over coffee. Ah. Well, this is what the package comes with, the top comes. Very, very nice, neat, and packages extremely well. I mean, everything. Yeah, what is that? All right, the funk is gone. Casey, Casey had a special order on his TPU, so his kind of a different package. This cap was cool, man. I said I want a blue TPU. And, huh. He it is. Happen. But if you order the SE version, that one is yeah, special edition. It'll come individually packaged. Like, like this. All fancy. And you get a fancy GoPro mount, which they seem kind of kind of flimsy, but we'll have, to, we'll have to get that on there and see what that's about. Well, man, GoPros are pretty tough. And all this is doing is holding it. So right. I feel good about it. Might need a strap right here. That's all I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm sliding out there. I don't know. It might be. It might hold tight. One of the coolest things I think about this frame, which I fly Kiss, so I'm kind of like that. I'm just gonna put one of these in there. The reactor PVB. It's got uh, OSD. All your filtering. Plug and play right into the. Kiss uh, flight controller. All you have to solder on is your receiver. That's it. Just like the the alien PDB. Or I say alien. Alien. Alien PDB. Well, that's funny. Well, I got an alien. This is getting ready to be this. Tearing down the alien for the vector. Uh, one of the predominant features of the vector frame is that it has a 15 millimeter deck height. So. I've never dealt with one quite that small. Low rider. I've had 20 millimeter deck heights and they were pretty tight, so hopefully this one ain't too rough. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a fan of the lower deck. I think so. I think the lower CGs get that battery a little closer to your props. Is, this is a Catalyst Machine Works. And it's got the low deck on it. And man, this thing flies awesome. So I was guessing, man, this lower deck on this one, man, it's gonna be as good. Maybe better. We'll find out. Maybe better. Uh, these these frames are made for a full size HS 1177 or Run Cam or Foxy or whatever you use. Uh, I don't know if he has them in the store yet, but we got some special mounts that you can use a Run Cam Micro or Foxy or Micro, whichever your preferred is. And so these will be like a little test run. I've not seen nobody use these yet, so that'll be a first. So Casey's got his all packaged up. I've kind of got mine out and went over some things. When well, you get this, it doesn't come with these press nuts. I've got random press nuts all over this. I drilled it out and stuck the press nuts in. That way we can go through our PDB up high and keep the lower uh, lower profile screws going through the top that way it gives us a little more room versus having nuts on top and nuts on the bottom or something. You just get a little bit cleaner look. So uh, we're gonna get it put together. If you like the press nut idea, awesome. Go for it. If you don't, it comes with nuts and you can just go through and put a nut on the on the bottom instead of this. But I like to be special. Special ed. One of the things I really like about this frame is it's got chamfered. I don't know if you're saying that right. It's rounded edges. Chamfered. 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 Whatever. And it's the whole frame. 
everything is chamfered or chamfered, whatever you want to call it. So it is super smooth. I don't know if anybody's seen the the silky version of the Astro X, but this this rifle is silky. It is super smooth. The carbon is super super strong. When you get it put together, there's hardly any flex in it. Uh, Casey's gonna be running his and his, and I'll be running race flight and mine. Yeah, Casey runs kiss and I run race flight. We still get along. Keep note of that. It is amazing. Keep note of that. That's what everybody else needs to practice: is that you can run different shit and still be friends. It's all cool. You don't have to hate each other because somebody's got race flight, somebody's got kiss. Truth be known, I do have a couple of race flight quads as well. And I have kiss quads. I just prefer race flight. He prefers kiss. Wouldn't say I okay. prefer it, but I do like it. Like it, prefer it. I'm still, I'm still on the fence. It's an fence. It's good, man. I like it's, both. It's, it's not bad. Race flight's not bad either. Now we're not talking on beta flight or anything like that. It's just that's not what we, not what we roll with. Man, look at all this fun they see with this. I think I like the Wishbone Foam Armaton Tinge better than it. Well, you know, some fucking TP in here. I'm going to knock it off there anyway. It, really it also comes with all kinds of antenna mount stuff if you run Crossfire. There's all different kinds of ways to set up your Immortal T on this quad, if that's your, if that's your thing. Me and Casey, I don't have a Crossfire yet. Casey's got one, but he had not used it. We, we're on the fence if we need to put it in a wing or a quad. I don't know. I really just don't want to update my Tyrannus and figure out how to use it. I'd rather fly. These little hood dangers here fit right on the end. You see that? Little bumpers for your arms. I'm not going to put any of this on mine because I'm going for like super ultralight, but Casey might be throwing it on his. I don't know. Uh, I am going to use the front bumper because it comes with a little front bumper deal for when you bump into that hard shit. When you're eating that concrete, when you're eating it. <laughs> concrete. <laughs> as close as you can get to concrete without getting your eyes wet. Yeah. <laughs> that was my phone. It's out. Otterbox. Let's put that back. Okay. Dude, that does not just squeeze in there. It doesn't. What I did on mine was I just cut little slots in it where it would expand. And that seemed to work and a little hot really piss out of it. Just shove mine in there and just cram it. Another thing we got is the the new Axe 2 by Lumineer. And we got these first off, the little stubby ones that just screw on. And then we got the UFL ones. And so we're gonna try the UFL ones and just nail them on here. And I mean, the way I think about it, I think Casey thinks the same thing, is it should get better signal. Cause you're not going through all of this. You don't have this, it's just straight antenna. I think in less resistance, I could be totally wrong on that. But we're not RF experts, but. Dude, one connection versus two, I'm thinking it's better. I just, Sounds, sounds legit. Less points for failure. All right. All that said, let's get to building this thing. Well, you build. I'm gonna. You build. I'm gonna. I gotta tear. Build. I gotta tear stuff apart. Casey's I'm, gonna unbuild. I'm franken quadding this thing. I got two to tear apart to put into it. And you bring a new kiss flight controller to me. I was like, I borrowed another kiss flight. All right. I don't gotta loan you one of mine. Oh dang! You got one? No, I didn't bring one. <laughs> I think I kind of dying the other day. I think two of them have been up there. I'm a little overwhelmed. It's a lot of stuff. Alright, now there's multiple ways you can build this. You can do the arms on top, but being a 15 millimeter standoff, I'm going to go for the arms on the bottom. That way it gives me a little more room inside of here to throw components and stuff, which I don't have a lot, the way I got it, the way I'm going to set it up, it shouldn't have too much going on in there, but just, just 
keep that in mind. Now, I put press nuts on the inside of this. This is where your flight controller will mount, your mounts for your FC. I put press nuts here so that you can place your arms and stuff on. Because I don't know if you've ever built like an alien or anything similar that has four arms that connect. It gets all wobbly and it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, I put the press nuts in here, that way they will stay there when I screw this in. And all my arms will. all neat while I put the top plate on and then run the rest of it through. So just a little, just a little trick if you want to try it. So this this X plate is your reinforced plate that's gonna go on the bottom. So we're just gonna throw our arms on here. And sit our bottom plate on top. Now, one thing we didn't mention is this comes with stickers. You can get stickers for it. I'm not going to use the stickers, but you can get special stickers. And I think skinit.com or Stick It Skins or something also has sticker sets coming for the vector. Uh, you know your arms are correct if the cutouts are on the inside of your quad. So. Should yeah. be paying attention to this for my jack it all up. Jacking it up. No, no, paying attention to how you put it together. Oh, oh well, I'm right here so you're good. Nah, I'm sure we'll get a YouTube on it. YouTube video. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> so once you got your arms on on that base plate, just kind of push it down there make sure everything's Lined up nice and pretty, which mine is not, so I got it backwards. We got backwards again. Now Casey's, Casey's reactor PDB has the OSD and all the fancy stuff for KISS or Beta Fly. I've got KISS on his, obviously. But you can also get a second one that if you've got OSD elsewhere or you want to use a different kind of OSD, uh, Drone Plastic sells one that just has uh, step downs on it. Now it's still, it'll still fit an alien, it'll fit a vector, it'll fit a reactor. Uh, it still has the signal wires that you can just run the signal wire straight to here on the edge of your board. It also has a 5 and 10 volt out. And if you, so if you don't want the OSD or that's something you're just not into, you can get one with step downs and it's a little bit cleaner for me. I don't, I don't need the OSD because my cameras have it. But to each his own. I'm just trying it out just to see what's up with it. I'm not generally an OSD kind of person. Kind of like just straight up nothing in view. Nothing in view? No. Well, I've killed a few batteries like that, so I'm kind of catching on with the OSD thing. <laughs> the, the, the Alien PDB comes with a piece of plastic. You can obviously make your own out of a piece of plastic. This is the old... Uh, Dish, or not dish, the laundry detergent thing. And I just laid it down and cut it out. And it's perfect. You can also liquid electric tape the bottom. There's just whatever you're, whatever you're into, whatever floats your boat. I'm over here struggling with some heat Stuff off sucks. Now these boards were designed around beta flight. So if you get one and you see that the signal wires up here are labeled, it says M4, M2, M1, M3. That's a beta flight quad setup. So just ignore that and you can you can either open it up with your meter or if you built as many as you decide. 
many as these as I have, you just know which wires go where. But if you're on a race fly, it don't really matter because it'll take care of all that crap for you. So, just put it forward. M4 and M2 are in the front. I guess it don't really matter what you're waiting on. That's what she looks like when she's on there. The bottom looks like put together. Get your eyeball that for a minute. Get your eyeballs on it. Mm, you like it? You love it? If you're building this video, just pause it right here. Check out. Check out. Oh, freaking battery on here before I hammer it down. this think like oh these guys got paid for this no we didn't get paid we didn't get free shit no free stuff <clears throat> I, man I like it pretty good the uh, the axis set up in the back which I haven't tried this antenna out but I am on this looks sweet nice and small the antenna fits good with the frame it keeps it super clean that's probably the most positive thing about the build is like the way it's set up with the reactor PDB is it just a super, super clean build. Even though you get all that stuff shoved in a 15 millimeter space, it's still very, very clean. A lot of wire management. It's not focusing. Focus it. Let me hold it. Better? Maybe you need light. Mm -hmm. Here. Hold it sideways, I don't want everybody to see the... See that, that gap? Yeah. That no gap? No gap. Bring it up closer. There it is. That's a, that's a lot of real estate. That's not very much real estate. No, very low deck. Just enough room and that is awesome. I'm digging that. I mean, that's all you need, you know? There ain't no extra air, you don't got no floaty parts in there. In case he's running the OSD version, I'm just running the regular version of PDB. And I like that Drone Plastics makes each one in case, you know, one doesn't fit your style. And the OSD is a cool, nice, small layout. So, not just a, what you need. Not Nothing a real that crowded, you don't. Not a real crowded screen. That's it. <clears throat> uh, one of the things I would advise is really make sure when you're putting this camera stuff together that you, you get everything you need in there before you nail it all down. Uh, 
the camera plate has a V on it, and if you're staring at it like this, you want the V to look like a V. There's a little notch in the top, and the notch goes up top. We both put them in backwards, and then <laughs> realized real fast it wasn't going to work. Uh, I don't have a really, I don't have a lot of uh, negatives on it. No, man, good, clean. You know, I would say easy build, but it's not for a beginner. It's it's pretty tight. And we we've, we've been at this all day. So like if you're don't don't try to rush this build. Make sure you got it planned out, make sure your stuff's even and gonna fit. And you kinda got some some mapping going on what you're gonna do with your wires because there's it's it's a small space and it fills up real quick. So be be mindful of that if you're getting one of these. And I'll have the link to this down in the bottom. They went back in order, I think they went back in order this week. Yeah, it said back in stock actually, I checked today. <clears throat> so, uh, of course by the time this video is released, it'll be like two weeks. No, oh, yeah. anyway. Uh, so, we'll put the link down below for you to go check one of these out. Uh, one thing I wanna mention on is, I feel like this frame, combines the cool stuff in this frame and the cool stuff in an that alien. frame. This is a chameleon. He's got an alien there. Uh, the best part about an alien, I think, is the, the frame, the interlocking arms and the way it, the, it's strong. It's a very strong design. You don't see a lot of many a lot of many? A lot, a lot of many. many. <laughs> you don't see many of those breaking. Uh, what, I, what I like about the Chameleon is the integrated cam housing. Well, I think the Vector has both options going on. It's got super strong interlocking arms. There's hardly any flex, if, if any, in the frame. Uh, you've got a built-in cam mount, so it, it protects your cam. You have a GoPro mount at that angle. Uh, one of the things I would change is, like, maybe make this piece solid, and you could adjust the camera tilt. Which, that camera tilt's not bad. It looks excessive, but it's really, it's not too excessive. Uh, but as, as far as anything else goes, there's not a whole lot I would change with it. Uh, they kind of got a stingy frame thing going where the camera comes through the bottom a little bit. I don't know if they need to do the stingy frame fix and that's where they put a standoff right here. I guess we'll see. We'll be testing that out shortly. Yeah. That's the only thing that I see that kind of sketches me out on it, you know? Right. It's kind of weird that those tabs hang down. Right, I feel like maybe you're, if you're, you know, you're sliding across something, you catch it. But if you got your foam pads on there, yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll give it a fair shake till we see what's up. That's for right. sure. We don't get to fly these today because it's dark. It's, it's dark. Daylight savings time we kicked our ass today. But hopefully sometime this week we'll get to get out and rip them up. Uh, hopefully, hopefully sometime soon. We both get off work late and it's already freaking dark by the time we get off work. So <clears throat> maybe I may have to rip them up on a lunch break. Oh, in case you don't get a lunch break. No, I'll get lunch breaks. All work and no play. Yeah, that's why Casey's a dull boy. Jace. Nah. So. If, if you're new to it, this is not the frame. Get 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 something else. Get a chameleon or no, I, I wouldn't even say a chameleon. Yeah, they're they're pretty, they're pretty slammed too, man. Uh, I haven't built one, but looking at yours, it's it's pretty tight. Uh, if you're ready for a challenge, and you're you're a real nitpicker about how your stuff looks, this is the frame combo for you because yeah. you can you can set it up where it's super super clean. So, and Kinetic Aerial did a good job on the, the carbon fiber. It's, it's 
seems like real good carbon fiber. It's cut uh, diagonal, like it's supposed to be, like the alien frames are. The the weave is diagonal. Now here that gives better strength. It seems pretty rigid, that's for sure. So, yeah, very rigid. So yeah, I can't wait to maiden it, man. Right. Other than just to hover. Right. Hover in the dark. And hover in the dark. Make sure it flies right. Doesn't wig out because you put compact control on it. That's true. I have done that. Don't put <laughs> compact control on a regular Kiss FC. Everything is wrong. <laughs> it just Everything not. is wrong. And then he tested in his living room. <laughs> yeah. The quad wasn't the only thing wigging out. Yeah. So, uh, that's, that's our review for now. Just, that's just of the build. Uh, like I said, we have not got to fly these. I'm hoping. I love it. Because it'd be really cool to, to love it. Yeah, I, man. I mean, as far as looks and as far as looks goes, it's 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 Dude, awesome. Yeah, it's slammed, man. That center of gravity or whatever the heck they call that, keeping it low, man. It's yeah. there. Yeah. Like I don't I don't think you could get. I don't know how you would get lower. You'd have to really put your 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 thinking cap on or yeah. something. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, that's. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a millimeter to spare. Right. I mean, and you get much lower, and your your camera's out. Yep. That's that's another thing I noticed that that I don't know if I like or not. If you use the big cam, the the full size cam, you're kind of stuck at either. A high camera tilt or a low camera tilt because it won't go past these two spaces here but uh, Casey's got his on the top and it, it doesn't look too bad I mean I think it'll be all right man which I'm used to flying whatever camera angle I set is what I fly with right every frame I've got is different and I just get used to it man so I got the micro in mind, and what I don't like about it is I can see the, the two standoffs. I don't, I don't like that, and I think it's going to jack with me, but only time will tell on that also. So, I hope it's tough. I mean, I will definitely... You will, yeah, you will find out real quick. <laughs> won't take you long. If something can be killed, I will kill it in some sort of way or fashion. Cause that's the fun of it. That's it. That's, what we, that's it. what we do it for. That's right. So, if you like it, don't be afraid of it. If you're new, that's I'd be afraid of that. Take your time with it. Build it right. Don't get in a hurry, cause you're not gonna build it in a hurry. It's not a no. It's not not a think you're gonna knock it out in a couple hours, Paul. Unless no. you just have like everything laid out, ready to go. But if you're starting from scratch and so set your day aside, set your weekend aside to get it right, make it clean, make it look good. If you run KISS, you're probably going to get a little more room because Race Flight has those stupid fucking rubber things, and that's what killed me on mine. But if you're running KISS, Casey's still got quite a bit of room in his. So, that's it. Anything else you want to say about it? No, no man, not till we fly it. I think it's cool though. Looks good. Cool design, man, for sure. I like the I like the pod on the back. I hope that antenna works out good, cause man, it looks clean. Yep. Got some super. I got some hot glue crazy on there. I could see somebody that breaks a lot of antennas. That would be, right. that, would be that would be the fix. <laughs> cause I don't I don't think you're gonna break that. No. It's gonna slide across the ground. Hopefully, Luminaire got their crap right. Yeah. It works good. Not propping one, propping one up with the chops. Right. Yeah, chopping yeah, one up with the props. Yeah, it's way away from the props. Yeah. Our next test with these is going to be Futaba versus Tyrannus on range. So, that's going to be a fun test. No, oh, yeah. Should be real easy. I fly Futaba, he flies Tyrannus. And I really hope Tyrannus wins. So that I can quit buying expensive Astra receivers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bang for buck, the Tyrannus is where it's at. In my opinion. I think so. I think you're right. 
Tyrannus, Tyrannus has got a lot going on. Man, I fly big gas planes with it all the way down to little mini quads and foamies, man. Wings, Wings. foamies, like yeah. everything you got. It's like I got a plane on Tyrannus. Yes, you do. But I've never had any issues. And I've gotten my wing out pretty far. Yeah, real fucking it's out. It's out of sight. <laughs> yeah. Freaking me out. Like, I can't see it no more, Casey. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you got anything out of this, hit the like button. Uh, if you don't care, you're probably already gone. You didn't make it to the end of the video. Uh, if you did, thanks for hanging in there. <laughs> yeah, that right. was a tough one. <laughs> well, I got like eight hours of footage to edit. Gosh, dang, man. What time we start? 10.30 this morning? Something like that. 10, 10.30? We did take quite a few breaks, though. We did take some breaks. We had to get our bearings set. Can't just, can't just cr cram it in there. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. All the good things. Click all the buttons. Except the thumbs down. But if you thumbs down it, I know you watched it, so. Ah, that's it. Joke's on you. <laughs> gotcha. We're out. Say We're out. Ping pong. That damn my little the buddy do I know. I like that. I know. It's nuts. It looks super good. I wish I had put some freaking hot glue on there, but.